2011 winter was such a drought that we cut our herd 50%, which was a dramatic change for us. We did have to cut our numbers, but many of the surrounding ranchers actually had to, to uh, sell their whole herds. So we were in better shape. This is wolf tail, and it's a grass that we actually hadn't seen until we got deep into the drought in this part of the world. We found that wolf tail and gaeta were springing up where the blue grandma was dying off with the drought. And those two species really kept us going for a whole season. This was really an eye awakener to me because it's hard enough to recover in a rainy season and to recover in a drought in my opinion, was unheard of. And uh, we made a 100% turnaround. That's really when we were truly convinced that this was working for us. We still had grass that we could use for the couple of years when there was no rain and everybody else was out. It's amazing. This all happened during the drought. What I think is exciting about the work that we've been doing is the potential for large-scale land restoration. It's really landscape-scale restoration. I'd be surprised if you could pick 20 places in the entire state of New Mexico that are as good as this, other than maybe wilderness or something. But private land, I, it doesn't get much better than this. Now, you know, with me being raised under the traditional method, I could never have imagined it be this good. I'd never go back to the traditional method of running cattle. Uh, this is so evident that, that it's worked.